Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid with the headlines of this hour. Pakistan says India faced failure by trying to take the case of Spai Kulbosh and Yadhav to the International Court of Justice again. Speaking in Parliament, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said Pakistan provided consular access to Indian draws serving terrorist commander Yadhav twice in line with the ICJ recommendations. He also said India has been trying hard to push Pakistan into the blacklist of the Financial Action Task Force, but Islamabad has taken all steps to avert the move. Meanwhile, Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Faruqi called on the world community to dissuade India from its disproportionate arms build-up. She was commenting on Delhi's procurement of Rafale warplanes in a briefing in Islamabad. The global cases of COVID-19 have crossed 17 million with more than 667,000 deaths. Brazil has reported a record increase in the daily number of COVID-19 cases as well as deaths. The country logged over 69,000 infections in the past 24 hours. 1,599 people died overnight with the toll crossing 90,000. In the United States, more than 61,000 tested positive and 1,200 died overnight, raising the death toll to over 150,000. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, 32 people lost their lives in the past 24 hours, with the death toll crossing 5,900. 1,140 new cases were reported, with a tally over 277,000. Over a thousand Muslims will perform one of the most important rituals of Hajj today in Saudi Arabia. After spending the day at Mount Arafat in reverent prayer, the pilgrims will stay at Muzdalifa for the night. Muslims from abroad are not attending the pilgrimage amid the coronavirus pandemic. While last year nearly 2.5 million pilgrims from all over the world performed the ritual. Unidentified attackers have killed 14 villagers and wounded another six in Nigeria's central Koji state. In the statement, police said assailants on motorcycles randomly opened fire on locals in the Agbudu village. And Italian champions, Juventus have suffered a shock 2-0 defeat at the hands of 13th place Gagliari at the Sardegna Arena. Both Luca Gagliano and Giovanni Siomone scored in the first half for the host as they valiantly denied an old lady onslaught to keep a clean sheet. Well, that's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Take care.